Manchester United seriously considering a move for Matthias De Ligt? Or Bayern Munich really interested in selling Matthias De Ligt? Is Matthias De Ligt himself considering a move for Manchester United? Big up everybody, it's your boy Ivory Spice on Red United TV. Here to deliver you the latest Manchester United news. Of course, today we're talking about Matthias De Ligt. Manchester United considering a move for Matthias De Ligt, the Bayern Munich central defender. The boy himself is even interested in a move to Manchester United. And I'm here to give you all the information you need to know regarding Manchester United's interest in Manchester Delete. Make sure you guys subscribe, smash that like button, share across all social media platforms, comment below, let me know your thoughts, become a member of Ready Night TV, sit back and enjoy. Let's go. Within the last 48 hours, David Austin tweeted out Manchester United seriously considering a move to sign Matthias De Ligt from Bayern Munich. No club talks yet or certainly move happens but Bayern Munich centre back increasingly viable option for Manchester United independent of ongoing Gerard Brentford interest reporting from the Athletic. That means it's independent from the ongoing Gerard Brentford's interest so they're looking to sign him separately from Gerard Brentford. So it means that, guys, we might be signing two centre-backs. MUFC MPB tweeted out as well within the last 48 hours, saying that Bayern Munich are willing to sell matches the lit for a fee significantly less than 65 million at Hurst Klaus. And for 65 million with Manchester United's poor transfer budget, and you guys already know we broke as hell, I don't think Manchester United can really afford matches the lit and probably most likely want to consider negotiated a little bit less than that. So Bayern Munich, you're probably looking at 40 to 50 million, my friend. And again, Matthias Delia has told Bayern Munich he wants to leave this summer, according to Graham Bailey on Onyx. Boy, it better be true if you really want to. And you know what I have to say? It came with a comment down below from that post. Alex at United, Alex7 says that he's getting benched by Eric Dyer and you guys want him. Do we really want a centre-back that's been benched by Eric Dyer? You know, Eric Diarrhea, as expression always used to say. No, really, think about it. Eric Dyer, who still can't get in the England squad. He has really benched this guy. The Sutton Online also says that green light, Man United seriously considering Dillard's transfer as Sir Jim Ratcliffe lines up a double centre-back deal. Man United are seriously considering a swoop for Bayern Munich centre-back Matthias Dillard. According to reports, the Red Devils are set to splash their cash this summer as new part owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe targets a first-team squad overhaul. And then go on to say Ratcliffe is determined to strengthen in every area, especially the defence. And according to The Athletic, the Lich, as I have to pronounce it right, has emerged as top target. United officials view the 24-year-old increasingly viable candidate, but club-to-club negotiations are yet to take place and there is no certainty the move will happen. There is no certainty the move will happen. They're probably talking as many Manchester United pass target. Manchester United probably seducing, interested, considering, like, have interest. And let's be real, guys. Let's not act like people haven't really been comparing Harry Maguire and Matthias De Ligt together. They've been calling Matthias De Ligt the English Harry Maguire. Why would you want someone like that in your team? Come on, guys. Let's be real. Matthias De Ligt, the English Harry Maguire, bruv. I mean, ugh. Brother, ugh, what is that? Ugh. I, I'll be honest with you, I, I, I don't want to really want to be associated with a defender that's called the English Harry Maguire. But hey, you know what? Comes to a club, I have to back him, unfortunately. And with Matthias De Ligt last season playing for Bayern Munich, where he played 22 games, minutes played, 1,389 tackles, 15 fouls, 12 passes, 1,189, two goals, 12 tackles won throughout the whole entire season. Those stats, they're not really defensive stats that I want to see. A career that's been from Ajax to Juventus, which just did not work well, in my opinion, to Bayern Munich. And at the same time, as we can see right now, it is not working well right now with Bayern Munich, considering the fact that they want to sell the guy. Well, guys, considering my thoughts with Matthias De Ligt, let's be real. He's 24 years old. His career it has been, to me, up and down ever since he left Ajax. But the only positive thing I have to say regarding this is that he knows Eric Ten Hag. He's worked with him. Um, Eric Turner, for some reason, loves signing players from Ajax, the Eredivisie, and I'm tired of that. You know, we need to stop signing players from the Eredivisie, Eric Ten Hag, if you want to stay here, bruv. But yes, with matches the lit, 
coming in, if Manchester United are really interested in him, it would be a good signing in terms of squad depth. Because really and truly, I'm not impressed because they are blocking us from signing Tadebo from Nice. It is a good option if, if Manchester United are looking to sign a breakaway. And this deal, as I understand, won't be blocking the breakaway deal. Or, or should I say, equate break weight? Because, you know, men don't rate him like that. Let's be real. But do I think it's a good signing overall? It'll be a good enough, you know, as long as we get rid of the other Mag- Harry Maguire. Because we can't have two Harry Maguire. That'd be too much stress for all of us, man. No way, like, brother. Ugh. Ugh. But I want to know what you guys think. Matthias De Ligt, do you want him at Manchester United? Will he be a good signing for us? And would it be a good addition for the defence as well, as long as we get rid of Harry Maguire? And I know Lindelof, Linda Soft might be going soon. But yes, guys, I want to know what you guys are thinking. Make sure you put your thoughts in below in the comment section. And again, make sure you smash that like button, share across all social media platforms, and of course, become a member of Red United TV. And tune in tomorrow for England versus Slovakia, Euro 2020, second round, knockout time, baby. Can England go through? Peace!